There's a new sexual orientation term on the block, y'all, and it's not homosexuality, it's not bisexuality, and it certainly isn't heterosexuality. I'm talking, of course, about pansexuality. Pansexuality is the incredible word that thousands of queer folks across the country are using to describe how they love and get down with other people. It's inclusive, it's awesome, and contrary to popular belief, it has nothing to do with frying pans or cookware of any kind. Pansexuality is actually pretty simple. It derives its meaning from the prefix pan, which means all, everything, or involving all members of a group. And it means just about that. As long as the chemistry is right and you vibe with each other, people who identify as pansexual can fall in love with or be attracted to people of all different gender identities and expressions, pretty much anywhere on the gender spectrum. But why is pansexuality such an important term? What if you're attracted to people who identify as men and as women, but you're also attracted to genderqueer people and gender non-conforming trans folks who don't fit so neatly into either of those two boxes? For example, if you think that I'm cute, you might be pansexual because I'm not really a man or a woman. The desire to get beyond the gender binary is what gave birth to the term pansexual. We shouldn't have to be attracted only to people who conform to the gender binary. Instead, we need to have sexual identities that are more inclusive and encompassing of all gender presentations. After all, genderqueer people like me are super cute and know how to plan really fun dates. Like it or not, pansexuality is here to stay, and it's kind of the future. Take that, gender binary. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.